Welcome back, everyone, to another Magic the Gathering Market Movers, and today is April 9th, 2024, and before we jump into next year, as per usual, I wanted to go with the affiliate links in my description. I do have a Dragon Shield discount code, as well as a TCG Player affiliate link, and any purchase that you make using those links, I get a small bonus from it, and it really helps support the channel. Now, here are my lovely Patreon supporters. You guys are the reason why I can make content like this on a daily basis, so thank you all very much. With that being said, let's get moving. Starting our losers list off here today with Fairy Mastermind from March the Machine. This rare is down 16.22% from $11.53 to $9.66 for its market price, and its average price is $11.60. Divine Visitation, and this is the anime borderless copy from Ravnica Remastered, down 16.40% from $14.15 to $11.83 for its market price, and its average price is $13.20. Primal Amulet from Ixalan, this rare is down 16.44% from $10.22 to $8.54 for its market price, and its average price is $9.90. Get Lost from Lost Caverns of Ixalan. This rare is down 16.48% from $7.04 to $5.88 for its market price, and its average price is $7. Andril Narsul Reforged, and this is the borderless copy from Commander Lord of the Rings, down 16.89% from $7.46 to $6.20 for its market price, and its average price is $6.81. Dark Confidant from Double Masters, this mythic is down 17.02% from $8.58 to $7.12 for its market price, and its average price is $9.19. War Leaders Call, and this is the showcase copy from Murders at Karlov Manor, down 17.15% from $11.31 to $9.37 for its market price, and its average price is $10.26. Ashnod's Altar from Eternal Masters. This uncommon is down 17.46% from $6.30 to $5.20 for its market price, and its average price is $7. And our final loser on our list today is Skull Clamp, and this is the Universes Beyond Warhammer 40k copy, down 17.54% from $7.98 to $6.58 for its market price, and its average price is $8. And now we're going to be taking a look at the biggest winners of the day, and we are going to start that list off here with... Thassa's Oracle from Theros Beyond Death. This rare is up 5.94% from $18 to $19.07 for its market price, and its average price is $18.48, and the pre-release copy is sitting at $19.76 for its market price, and its average price is $28.05, and the promo pack copy is sitting at $16.02 for its market price, and its average price is $25.04, and the extended art copy is sitting at $25 for its market price, and its average price is $30.80. And the secret layer series copy is sitting at $90.37 for its market price, and its average price is $111. And this card is being played a ton right now in the vintage format in Doomsday decks, as well as legacy decks like Cephalid Breakfast, Oops All Spells, as well as modern decks like Twiddle Storm, and of course Grinding Station. And the next winner on our list today is Vayne Ripper from Murders at Karlov Manor. This mythic is up 6.74% from $21.52 to $22.97 for its market price, and its average price is $24.93. The pre-release copy is sitting at $27.60 for its market price, and its average price is $29.55. The promo pack copy is sitting at $22.64 for its market price, and its average price is $32. And the showcase copy is sitting at $20.72 for its market price, and its average price is $21.62, and the Showcase Invisible Ink copy is sitting at $32.68 for its market price, and its average price is $36.43. This card is seeing a ton of Pioneer play in Rakdos Sacrifice decks as well as Rakdos Vampires, however also see some modern play in Orzhov Midrange and Jun Scam. Next up on the list is a land from Murders at Karlov Manor. Hedge Mage, and this is the borderless copy, up 21.14% from $8.94 to $10.83 for its market price, and its average price is $9. And the pre-release copy is sitting at $7.50 for its market price, and its average price is $8.17. 
and the promo pack copy sitting at $6.16 for its market price, and its average price is $6.49, and the regular copy is sitting at $5.94 for its market price, and its average price is $6.25. And this card is seeing a ton of play across a variety of formats in modern decks like Goryeo's Vengeance, Living End, Domain Zoo, and even 4 to 5 color Omnath. However, also see some Pioneer play in Hidden Strings and play in the Legacy format in Beanstalk Control decks. And the next winner on our list today is a rare from Commander Legends, Court of Cunning, and it's up 29.64% from $6.31 to $8.18 for its market price, and its average price is $7. The extended art copy is sitting at $7.54 for its market price, and its average price is exactly the same. This card is seeing some legacy play in decks like Demir Scam, as well as Demir Delver and Reanimator, however also see some commander play in decks like Obeka, Splitter of Seconds which is a new commander, and also the Wise Mothman from Fallout. And the next winner on our list today is Return to the Ranks from Magic 2015. This rare is up 32.67% from $9.61 to $12.75 for its market price, and its average price is $15.79. And this card is being played a ton in the Pioneer format in decks like Abzan Amalia Combo, and it's even being played in the Modern format in Sam Combo decks as well as Amalia Combo as well. And our final winner on our list today is Virtus the Veiled from Battle Bond. This rare is up 36.42% from $3.13 to $4.27 for its market price, and its average price is $4.45. And the Battle Bond promo copy is sitting at $4.94 for its market price, and its average price is $9. And the version on the list is sitting at $6.67 for its market price, and its average price is $25. Now this card has been played a ton in the commander format in decks like Ramsey's Assassin Lord and also Atrata Deadly Fugitive from Murders at Karlov Manor. And now we're going to be taking a look at the biggest foil winners of the day and we are going to start that list off here with Ether Sworn Adjudicator from Conflex is foils up 10.82% from $10.81 to $11.98 for its foil market price, and its average price is $6.64. Beacon of Immortality from Fifth Dawn. This foil is up 11.49% from $24.54 to $27.36 for its foil market price, and its average price is $24.06. Next on the list is Pithing Needle from Saviors of Kamigawa. This foils up 12.94% from $106.25 to $120 for its foil market price, and its average price is $80. Heat Shimmer from Lorwyn. This foils up 13.55% from $32.63 to $37.05 for its foil market price, and its average price is $90. Doubling Season Anime Borderless Confetti Foil from Wildville Drain Enchanting Tales, up 15.49% from $159.36 to $184.05 for its foil market price, and its average price is $500. Sun Scour from Cold Snap, this foil is up 16.20% from $13.46 to $15.64 for its foil market price, and its average price is $18. Bounteous Kirin from Saviors of Kamigawa. This foil is up 16.47% from $6.86 to $8 for its foil market price, and its average price is $9.89. Sway of the Stars from Atreus of Kamigawa. This foil is up 17.94% from $9.98 to $11.77 for its foil market price, and its average price is $24.67. Lotho, Corrupt Sheriff, and this is the Showcase Scrolls copy from Lord of the Rings. This foils up 19.85% from $5.24 to $6.28 for its foil market price, and its average price is $30. Divinity of Pride from Eventide. This foils up 22.80% from $32.15 to $39.48 for its foil market price, and its average price is $36.61. Thank you all so much for taking time out of your day to watch my Magic the Gathering market movers. It really, really means a lot to me. And if you guys could, could you hit that like button down below so this video does get shared into YouTube's algorithm so that way my channel can continue to grow on YouTube. Obviously, all likes and comments that you guys have been leaving have really helped grow my channel, and I'm forever grateful for that. 
Also, let me know in the comment section below what your favorite mover of the day was, which cards you most surprised to see on the list, and which cards you actually own that showed up on the list today. I do read every single comment that you guys leave, so please leave them there down below for me to read. Also, I make these videos from Monday to Friday, so we'll be back again tomorrow for another Magic the Gathering Market Movers. And until then, please enjoy the rest of your day. Take care. Being a patron will help me produce more market movers and add to the funds that I will use for my random buys and also to my coffee fund because I drink a lot of coffee for these videos. And here you can see a link below in the description that will give you all the tiers and what you get in each tier. So I hope you guys click and think about joining. And with that, I'll see you next video. Think about uh, supporting the channel in that way. If not, subscribe, like, leave a comment, and I will see you again in the next video.